So this is my campsite folks. I've got less than an hour a day like you can see the low sun, the low winter sun. I want to camp here because I want that view and I'm a wee bit exposed here. There is a gully down there where I could uh, camp but there's more snow coming so the danger that I might get buried down there. There's also some wind coming but I think there's enough snow here that I can dig down a wee platform and I can give myself uh, some protection. I've got my uh, Terranova Quasar with me, although I don't have a uh, double set of poles, I've just got the single set of poles with it. Although, uh, even with the one set, it's pretty strong, so... So time is against me a wee bit. I'm absolutely ravenous as well, because I haven't had anything to eat. I uh, chose to forego lunch and go and climb that summit behind you there. So I need to crack on, I need to create a wee platform and get the tent up and uh, try and get all that done before it gets dark.
it's getting quite dark just now. I'm going to run out of uh, time, certainly for that camera. So I think I'm going to switch to GoPro and see if I can film putting the tent up on GoPro. I don't really have time to switch the cameras, but it would be nice to share it with you. Let's see if I can dig out a GoPro quickly. GoPro are much better in the low light conditions. I'll give it a wee go. Okay, we're on GoPro. I'll put this camera away and see if I can get this tent up before it gets dark. I've got about 10 or 15 minutes left, I think.
though I'm in now. There's still a wee bit light outside, but not much to be honest. <laughs> Cutting it fine today. I was nipping over to do that wee hill that I wanted to do. I'm kind of glad I did it and I'm sort of regretting it because it's meant that I haven't done very much filming. Might manage to film a wee bit tomorrow but the, the weather's not good tomorrow. I've got to get up and out of here quite sharp in the morning before the bad weather hits. <laughs> Although it's mostly downhill tomorrow. I've got to get these crampons off. Oh, it's always nice to get them off. That's better. I was chuntering away to the camera there with my head torch on, realized, and then I realised you probably couldn't see anything. So I've rigged up these lights. Excuse me, rubbing my nose. As you can imagine, it's a wee bit chilly up here. So I put my my down boots on. And what else was I saying to the camera before I realised that uh, you couldn't see anything? I was saying. I've got some spare clothes here for tonight. I've got a base layer and uh, and some long socks and I've got a balaclava. So it's going to be pretty cold tonight. I think... Uh, I don't know. It could probably... It could go down to minus 20 up here. But I'm not sure about that. I am sure about is it's going to be cold. But if I get this camp set up properly, I shouldn't be cold. I'm going to sleep on this side. I've got that uh, snow wall that I built just in there. And that's uh, where the wind's coming. It's coming at an angle, so it's going to go up and over the top of this tent. I hope. If it changes direction and it starts coming this way, we're in trouble, boys and girls. That's my pillow sorted. So I've already got one sleeping mat down, but I'm going to blow up this uh, thermo rest as well. I want as much insulation from the ground as I can get. Excuse me throwing this about in front of your eyes. These things come with an inflation bag where you can catch your air and then you can transfer it into this. Try doing it inside a tent. <laughs> Good old fashioned lung power. I'm not going to make you sit and watch me blow this up, it'll take two or three minutes. It's an extra large one, so it gives me plenty of room and uh, it's quite thick, so it takes quite a lot of air. You switch the camera off for a wee while, save some battery power. I didn't bring a, um, a power bank with me, but I do have another GoPro, so if that one, the one that I'm on just now, dies, I can. Uh, and break out the other one uh, and I'm also going to grab a sandwich as well I'm going to have my lunch because um, I, as I said I gave up my lunch in favour of nipping out and doing that uh, wee hill crazy days so I'm gonna have a bite I'm gonna blow this mat up and then I'm gonna get back to you in a, a wee while it won't be too long folks so I've got my tent set up I quite often do this um, I'm not going to sleep like this but I've got my sleeping pad at an angle going from corner to corner with my sleeping bag on top I've got my um, valuable gear, my kind of dry gear, my cameras and uh, my spare clothes and my possibles pouch with my first aid kit and my GPS and stuff all in there and then in the corner where you are I put my rucksack, that's right by the, the, the door of the tent this tent you can get in and out both ways so um, 
but this is a door that I'm using and uh, so that corner there has got the kind of the stuff that's a bit uh, it's not really wet but it's damp um, my rucksack and the tripod and my water bottles and that kind of gear and I've got my cooking gear sitting there so I'm going to cook up in a wee while have to make sure I don't set fire to the tent eh? that would not be good up here but it's too cold to cook outside that's for sure yeah. The wind has picked up a bit, it's uh, absolutely bitter out there so you just have to cook in the tent and you have to be super safe, you have to be very very careful. Pasta. So I'm using winter gas for for cooking. The ordinary gas at uh, this temperature is just uh, no use at all. You need uh, you need the winter gas. You're going to be camping this high up in Scotland in the winter time. I'll give it a try. Perfect. Turn the gas off. There's a bit of cheese in this food bag somewhere. There we are. Get a wee lump of that. Pop that in there. Right, dinner time. Can you see me? That better. Right, I'm going to eat this pasta, folks, and uh, listen to some tunes. Right, folks, that's my dinner done. <coughs> done the washing up. <laughs> Actually, the wiping up. I just give them a wipe out with some um, some kitchen roll. Too cold to go out there and do any washing up. <laughs> there won't be any water anyway. I'm trying to remember the name of the wee hill that I'm camped on. I'm, I'm literally just below the summit of it. It's the outlying top of um, Ben Venue. Is it pronounced Venue or Venue? The wee hill that I did today was um, Ben Vriek. Like I say, a wee double topped hill with uh, only three meters difference between the two tops but uh, uh, quite a drop down, quite rocky and slippery and yeah, used up quite a lot of time which is why I was struggling to get the tent up before dark and it was an out and back so I crossed the 700 meter summit, dropped down and then scrambled up to the 703 meter summit and then I had to turn around and do it all again and then I'd to come back down to the Bialach uh, or the Col and this hill is just above the Bialach actually I've got a feeling that it might be Ben Bialach or something like that I'm not sure anyway um, Ben Vriek is the, the wee double top hill that I did on the way up Ben Venue is the one that we were looking at um, and then this one is where's my map Excuse me.
Craiga Bialak is the wee hill that we're on and we're um, we're on one wee shoulder just below the summit actually a complicated looking summit a lot of bumps and knolls and wee craggy bits ah we'll see what tomorrow's weather brings I need to get back tomorrow actually so likely as not we'll just uh, pack up and get down into the glen into warmer climbs what I might do I was just thinking about this when I was eating my pasta and I was thinking this is a lovely hill and you haven't seen very much of it <laughs> especially because it was almost dark I was just thinking about coming back again but maybe in the spring or the summer time in the summer time it's just a uh, that's an easy wee hill and I might do it from the other side but when you approach from the Kinlochard side you you can't really see the hill you climb up under it and then um, when you get to the the Bialak you can just you can see the high ground you can't actually see the summit where we're camped now you can see the summit the summit is just uh, it's in touching distance it's not very far away at all only uh, can of be more than about uh, 20 minutes away um, but when you come in from the other side you get a view of the hill right from the right from the very start so shall we do that that's a wee plan see if I remember next year in the springtime or the the, the summer time it would be a lovely evening walk in the summer actually it's quite a popular hill in the summer and I kind of like to have hills to myself but we could do it as uh, either as an early morning uh, hike or as an evening hike and actually even if we did it as an evening hike we could take the tent up sleep on the top but a quick up and quick down in the evening might be quite nice as well let's think about that eh? <laughs> plan for the future so yeah I'm in my sleeping bag been listening to a few tunes and I think I'm just going to call it a night I'm going to put my music back on it's getting late now <laughs> well, relatively speaking it's after 8 o'clock although I had an early start this morning so I think I'll sleep early so I listen to music for a wee while stay warm and we'll get back to you in the morning We'll see what tomorrow brings. See if that bad, bad weather comes in early. Still debating uh, whether to go up and do this wee hill. What did we call it? I can't remember. Was it Bena ben Bialak or Craig of Bialak or something like that? Something to do with the Bialak anyway. Uh, I may wander up to the summit, it's not very far away, I'm pretty close to the summit. But if I'm too cold, I'll just break camp and we'll head for the glen. <laughs> head for warmer climbs. So we'll get back to you in the morning, folks. Good night. Morning, folks. There's been a fair change in the weather. The cloud is down, the clag's down. I went out, it's uh, just a bit after half past seven. I went out about 15 minutes ago and you can't see a thing out there. The wind has strengthened as well. None of it unexpected. I was hoping to set up a camera so that you might be able to enjoy the sunrise, but I don't think it's going to happen this morning. I'm going to cook up some porridge and a cup of coffee here. And then maybe before I have my breakfast, I might pop out and, and have another look and see if I can get a bit of filming for you. But I think the weather system that was forecast, sorry, I'm making a lot of noise here. The weather system that was forecast has arrived.
So it's just about escape today, it's just about finding a route down. That'll do. It's nice and warm in the sleeping bag last night, no problems. Had a good sleep too, slept well. Let's get this stove on the go, it'll make a noise. I'll probably have to switch the camera off. You hear the wind shaking the tent. The noise is because when I went out earlier, I didn't peg down the second part of the entrance flap. That's what's flapping. We're still pretty sheltered, but poke your head above that uh, wall and it's pretty windy out there now. Okay, a cup of coffee. See if I've got my, can you see me? <laughs> it's a bit steamy. See if I've got my measurements right. Enough, should be enough left for a tub of porridge. No oh, plenty. I'll just make it watery. There we are. You've got steamy in here now. When the cloud rolled in, it obviously uh, blanketed out the radiation frost, so it's a little bit warmer. It's not exactly bammy out there, but it's not as cold as it was up until about midnight or one o'clock. There we are, I'll let that thicken up a little bit. Got some honey to put in it as well, I'm <laughs> carrying a glass jar. As if I didn't have enough weight to carry a wee jar of uh, honey. We picked that up on our trip to Tung, to the north coast. Right, there we are. I'll let the breakfast cool down a little bit before we eat it. Okay folks, had my breakfast, cleaned my teeth, so I'm going to pack up as much of this gear as I can before I head out because it's, uh, it's nice and warm in here and it's going to be cold out there. I've got toothpaste on my mouth. Um, I was going to take you out and show you the, the sunrise but there isn't much to see, just clouds. I'm hoping that they might lift, there's a bit of, the wind's getting stronger, the wind might push the clouds away but let me get packed up in here, then we'll get out and see what the day has to offer us. There was a wee bit of a sunrise, I just caught a bit of it. It's sort of coming and going over your shoulder there. I managed to get a tiny wee bit of it on the on the camera on the film. So. But it's pretty cold, so I'm going to get uh, packed up and get out of here.
So folks, I'm packed up. I'm good to go. I'm just going to nip up and bag that wee summit. I'm not going to take the camera with me, but what I might do is I might turn it on and turn it round so... So you can see, uh, see where I'm going. I'm a wee bit short of time and the weather's not brilliant, so I think I'm just going to... I'm just going to mark this spot on my GPS and I'm going to go up super lightweight. Just my ice axe over there and uh, I'll be up and down in 10 or 15 minutes so I'm just going to leave my GPS on I'll be back here very shortly so I'll grab the camera turn it round you can see me going up that wee slope and uh, the summit is literally just uh, a few hundred meters beyond that Well folks, I'm on the summit. I've not got a wind muffler on this GoPro, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear me over the wind. Summit's marked by just a handful of stones. Quite lucky that I found it. It's just on the wee crest and the, the wind has blown the snow off. I had to cross some avalanche debris to get here, although it's only 10 minutes from the camp. Uh, it was quite hard going, so I'm just going to turn around, put my GPS on because it's quite thick up here, find my way back down through the crag. There's no chance of getting an avalanche because the snow is frozen solid at this time of the morning. So I get back to the camp. I get back to you in a wee while, folks. I'm on my way back down now. I'm on the, the wee slope, the avalanche. The avalanche debris is just below me, although you probably can't see anything. It's just completely white. I think this is just a wee crag, but it's completely plastered in snow. And it's near vertical, but it's frozen solid just now, so... Um, I would show you, but I don't want to let go. I've got my feet dug in with my crampons. So, I'm about halfway back to my camp. I'm going to keep going, get down this tricky wee bit. And then uh, I'll say hello when I get back to the camp. I've left the other camera running. So, I hope it's all right. I hope it hasn't blown over. Okay, folks, we're going to keep moving. Summit done. Time to get that rucksack shouldered. Get down the call, cross that slope and get over that burn if I can, and then back into the trees. Oh, it's been a hard morning, folks. Well, folks, I'm back down to the trees. It's a bit warmer down here. I can lose my tent pegs. So I think I'm just going to wind the video up here folks. I've still got a couple of hours hiking to get down through the glen. The track is quite slippy but I'm going to take my time, enjoy the, the winter mood and 
I usually finish up by saying I'm going to get back to you on the next one, but I'm not very sure this time because uh, Christmas is just a few days away and I don't know if I've got time to get out again. Although, I'd like to get out at the weekend if that's possible. I'll tell you what, I'll say I'll get back to you on the next one, which might be after Christmas, so I'll wish you a Merry Christmas and I'll be in touch with you before the new year, but I wish you uh, all the very best for Christmas. Hope you have a wonderful time. And if I do get out at the weekend, well, I'll just have to wish you Merry Christmas twice. So. Bye for now, folks. Thanks for joining me on, on this uh, wee adventure. I uh, really appreciate it. And uh, to the new subscribers that have joined me recently, uh, welcome to the channel, folks. And as always, the people that have been follow me from the, the beginning it's great to have your company so bye for now folks